Anna Kate has always been drawn to games of strategy. She competed on Survivor Season 32 Ko Rong, and before that, she was a professional poker player. I love Survivor and poker because they're very similar. They're both very similar to life. There are um, different situations you have to adjust to. There's reading people, um, analyzing situations. Survivor and, and poker really be became my two obsessions, my two idols. The daughter of a Jewish father and Russian mother, Anna attended church growing up, but says religion got in the way of a real relationship with God. There's all these rules, there's all these things you have to do. I didn't like it. I felt very constricted. I really pushed away from God. I really thought God isn't real. And that actually led me into the um, belief that, you know, there is no God. Then her parents divorced. It was around that time that Anna began to define herself as an atheist. I definitely felt abandoned. I felt rejected, even though my father um, was a good dad in the, in the sense that he didn't, you know, leave my life forever. He, I still spent every weekend with him. There was a lot of pain there. I was looking for, for satisfaction in a man. I was looking for love, and I was never fulfilled. As a teen, she fell in love with the game of poker. Someone had a game, and they asked me to sit down and play. When I like something, I, I go all in. I get really passionate and really driven. It's a st strategy game. There's more to poker than meets the eye. I thought it was super fascinating. It kind of became an addiction. After graduating high school, she went on to earn a degree in biology. Instead of attending medical school, she moved in with her boyfriend, a pro poker player who helped hone her skills in the game. We would play all day. We would go to dinner, come home, play nightly tournaments. You know, relatively speaking, you know, was I super, super successful? No, I didn't play the major big tournaments. I sustained myself. You know, some tournaments, sometimes I'd win $10,000 a day and sometimes $3,000, $4,000. I had fun doing it. Inside, Anna wasn't as happy as she seemed. My life was spontaneous, but it wasn't fruitful. I was so broken inside. Anna says she was hopeful when she heard about an opportunity to audition for her favorite show, Survivor. I didn't have the best audition tape. And I asked them, how, why did you call me? I really messed up the interview. And they said, no, Anna, we saw something in you. Anna was voted off mid-season and returned home devastated. She says her life began to unravel. As Anna questioned the meaning of life, her relationship with her boyfriend was falling apart. I went into a really deep, dark space where I didn't know what to do with my life because here I am not wanting to play poker, which I wanted to do every single day. And here I am with my ex who's looking at me like, why aren't you playing? Broken and desperate, she cried out to God. I knew I was in a relationship that I had to get out of. And I remember I got on my knees, I mean, bawling, weeping, broken. I remember I said, God, if you are real, show me you're real. What do I do with my life? Because I'm lost and I don't know what to do. Two weeks passed and Anna didn't have the answer she was looking for. She was invited on a school tour with other reality TV stars, sharing positive messages to young students. After the program, one of the celebrity speakers told her he had a message from God. You felt the Holy Spirit before and God is real, just so you know. And I said, what? And so I, I thought about it. At once, she knew what he was talking about. She told him the story of when she was a teenager on a trip to Jerusalem with a student group. She and a friend had gone to the Western Wall. Here I was with my friend blaspheming God. We were, I was saying, what came out of my mouth was, look at these idiots praying to a God that doesn't exist. I heard this beautiful singing start, thousands of voices singing, ah, and it was everywhere. I mean, I looked around and I couldn't understand where the singing was coming from. It was the most incredible, profound experience in my life and I never knew what it was, but uh, you know, it was just, I wasn't ready to hear. I told him the story and I remember at the end of the story, he goes, you felt the Holy Spirit, Anna, and you heard angels singing. I knew I heard angels singing. And that was when I knew that God was real and he was trying to trying to get my attention. And I remember I fell on my knees. I, I, I repented, I said, Jesus, forgive me. And I gave my life to the Lord. And I remember all of the burdens, all of the depression, sadness, 
brokenness, I remember feeling the weights of it lift off my shoulders. Anna began to experience a real relationship with God through Bible study and prayer. Eventually, she left the relationship she was in and gave up pro poker. God has always been there for me. Jesus has always been there for me. He's just the most amazing thing in the universe, and I just wish more people knew about him, knew him intimately, because knowing him intimately is where all the keys are to his heart. It's so fulfilling, and you know, being lost and broken, searching for love, I found it in Jesus. He's a gentleman, and he'll knock on your door until you answer and open that door, and he's just, he's incredible.